Hey guys, Dan Hood here, Big DH2000. It's time to do a little bit of super glue stuff, okay? Um, I need to do a brief explanation of super glues and then I'll get into them, okay? Let me put this down here out of the way, okay? Now, you can get like a, do a dollar store variety of super glue like this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, okay? But what you have to understand about this kind of glue, okay? Let me get a little plate up here. Let's clean it off a bit, okay? You see how runny that glue is? Let me close this up, okay? You see how runny it is, okay? I usually buy this, okay? It's Gorilla Glue. Now, don't get me wrong. This glue has an excellent place for filling in, like, if you have a big crack or something in your slingshot. This is excellent because it runs down into the crevices and does a really good job. But when you're trying to do CA finish, look at how much thicker... The Gorilla Glue is, okay? You see the difference? That's what's so important. Now, I'm going to put this on. For my CA finish, I just clamp one clamp to the other. I usually clamp, I make sure I have one that, a clamp that has rubber all the way around. I clamp, clamp. And then I usually hold the bottom. Nail polish remover for later. Just squeeze. Squeeze. Okay. I just use my finger, guys. Everybody thinks I'm crazy. Get, get it down in the crack. Spread it around quick. You gotta be quick about it. Okay. Squeeze a little more. Okay, this is really thick stuff. Okay. I just go down to about where the clamp is. I make sure everything is nice and evenly covered. I especially get the weird crevices. Okay. Sometimes you need to just dribble it in here directly. Okay. That's one of the reasons I don't like these crevices, but I use the point to get it in, okay? And I go back, I try to not to make, you try not to leave lumps, but don't worry too much about it. Because you can clean everything up, which I'll show you in the next stage. But, that's pretty much done. And look at the heavy layer of glue you can get on it with this Gorilla Glue. Now, I simply wipe the Gorilla Glue on my finger. Close this up. This is my rag. Now this is not very good for you to rub nail polish remover directly on yourself. It's not the best of things to do, but this is how I quickly clean my finger right after I've done it. Okay. For the most part it gets the worst of it off. There's still a little bit on there. Okay, so then I notice there's a couple of little spots here I need to touch. Get back in, clean it some more. Anyway, that's one CA application done. Hopefully you could hear me through the mask. Now people ask if I do it in a ventilated area. My shop's big enough. My shop's big enough. I don't really have to. I just wear the mask, and when I'm done, I just leave. And by the time I come down and do another coating, 12 hours has gone by, and this is dissipated in about 10 minutes because the shop is so big. Anyway, hope that makes sense to you guys. Big DH2000, Dan Hood, signing out.